What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. Today I'm going to answer the age old question and I see this multiple times per month either on Twitter or in the YouTube comments. Why should I design if I can go straight to code? All right, so let me just show you uh, a quick example. I'm gonna show you all the code that's involved in creating a really simple layout idea that I had. All right, so I didn't even finish it. It's just this thing. I thought I would have like this little column back here with a headline, a sub headline. Um, and let's just look at the HTML. So here's all the HTML required to create that. Here's all the CSS. I had to, I typed this all out by hand. It, it took like a good 15 minutes or 10, 10 to 15 minutes to get to that point. All right, all right. So let's see what, how fast can we get there from within a design app like Adobe XD or or, or skip, uh, Figma? Um, so let's choose our color here, and this is my initial idea, just to have like some sort of uh, like a a hero landing page go straight to code. All right, that's cool. Let's beef up that. Let's get this uh, kerning correct. All right, and then we'll make it bold. And my initial idea was like to have it like this. Um, as you can see, I, I think actually I had it all the way straight out. So I was like this, but you know what I realized? If I'm only gonna have a headline and maybe a sub headline, I, wanna, I want this to come in a little more so we can take up more of the layout. So maybe something like that. Now, in order for me to have experimented with that, with that in code, I would have had to make all these adjustments to the CSS and the width of like the H1 element and also margin and padding to move it over. Guess what? I can just do this. You can't do that in code this fast, anywhere this fast. Uh, and so now I'm able to come up with something that, hey, I like this alignment. I like the font size, the font weight. Uh, and I also like the width of this in terms of creating three different lines of the headline. So I can duplicate this real quick and let's see what the headline looks like. I'm just gonna drag this down um, and then we'll put in, uh, we'll just put in a little bit of lorem ipsum text, which there is a plug in here, but I'm gonna copy from here. Um, we'll just copy that and then paste that in. All right, so let's get a good visual hierarchy going here, a good separation between the elements. We're gonna choose medium. Um, look how fast I'm doing this. I let's go regular actually. Again, if I wanted to experiment with the, with the the font weight, I have to be screwing around with code. I uh, when I could just do it from a visual sense, getting everything lined up here. Maybe I want to take to make this a little bit uh, smaller. There we go. And then, yeah, I think you know what we're gonna make this smaller. We're gonna put this up here. All right, we're gonna reduce the kerning, or not the kerning, sorry, the letting. Um, and then we'll have a button real quickly. So I'm not sure what type of button I want. We'll put it like right here, put this up a little bit. Notice all these changes that I'm making that I'm doing rapidly. Doing that in code is a pain in the A, ass. I wasn't gonna say ass, but I, I decided to say it. All right, and then I'm going to center some text, go to site, no wait, go to code. All right, we're going to make this white. Okay. Hey, maybe, you know what? Uh, I want to see what this looks like with an icon. All right, so if you were in code and you wanted to see, like if you had a little icon in the middle, you would have to go to a design app or maybe one of the websites that have icons, you would have to either copy an SVG, import it into your project folder, and then type out all of the code to try to get it into place. Um, and then you make the determination, hey, do I actually want to see this? Uh, do I want an icon? Well, for me, I could just use this plug in here, um, search for arrow, and then I can just put this right there. Um, I can drag it, that's it. Drag it, change color, done. How long did that take? A few seconds. Maybe I wanna see what this looks like with a rounded corner. So, oh, I like that, that's pretty good. Right there was perfect. When you're in code, you're gonna to have to sit there screwing around with the border radius to figure out which one you want. When in a design tool, guess what? I get to do this. Maybe I wanna go pill shape. Maybe I don't. All right, so 
Now, here's the layout. Maybe you send this to the stakeholder or the person who makes all, all the, ultimately the decisions, uh, and, and you're in HTML and CSS, uh, and this is what you show them. Let's just pretend this is in the browser and not in a design app. And you're like, okay, you know what? I wanna see some several variations of this layout. <laughs> You're sweating bullets because now you're thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to re reconfigure all the HTML, all the CSS, just because this guy wants to see different layout ideas. Well, for me, all I have to do is, being in a design app, I could just take this, I was like, okay, um, maybe he wants to see um, this pushed over here. Okay, done. I did that really quickly and Maybe they wanna see also, maybe we'll put a column over here that really brings in that primary blue color in maybe a more just understated way. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Maybe maybe he'll like that, okay. Maybe he'll like this version without it. All right, great. We have another option there, but maybe we want um, three columns for the background and maybe we'll just take this and make it um, a little bit lighter. Tin it, tone it a little bit. All right, so that's cool. Um, maybe he wants to see a two column layout with the type. So we'll put this right here and then maybe we'll bring this over here and we'll bring this down. Maybe we'll bring this down too, like right there. Maybe we'll bring this button in. Let's, uh, let's group that button up and then we'll take this over here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll scale this down in size because that's looking a little bit too large. Um, let's reduce this a bit. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll just do this. We'll put them on two lines and we'll increase the letting here. So now they're like in their own column where there's a top column here and a bottom and then maybe we'll move this back over here. And then we'll take everything and we'll put it right here. All right, look at this. You know how long it would take you if you were in HTML and freaking CSS to do this? It would take you a long time and you wouldn't do it probably. It just wouldn't make sense. Why? Because you're gonna be discouraged knowing that all of this work is required in just creating these quick iterations where you might stumble upon something that looks so much better than your original idea. How many times are your original ideas in anything in life the ones that are the best? Very few. This is the reason you step into and you learn a uh, an app like Figma or Adobe XD so that you can quickly just get your ideas out and ultimately end up on the one that perhaps you like the most or the stakeholders for instance. So that is my response, that is my answer to the question, why do I go straight to design when I can just do code because I already know code? This is why. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you soon, goodbye.